Adrian Talonchik Rousam learned to play poker in the card rooms and casinos of Edmonton, Alberta. Despite being a formidable force at the Omaha Eight or Better tables on Poker Stars, Adrian only plays poker as a hobby, holding a full time job as an occupational therapist. Her impressive results on the felt, including several final tables in the Poker Stars Women's Sunday Tournament and Supernova VIP status since 2006, have awarded her the extras in life, including jewelry, designer purses, and her dream car. straight flesh what do you guys think i'm adrian revson also known as talent chick on poker stars new member of team online i've always loved playing cards going back to ireland to visit family we always go to play whist which is a, a card game kind of i guess like bridge you would go and you would spend your five pounds at the time or five euros now and all the scores would get tallied and you could win money at the end of the night for being the best lady or the best gent it was always a riot. No, I did not make a straight flush. The game I mainly play online or live is Omaha 8 or Better. Um, it's a variation of Omaha that I, that I learned kind of a few years into my poker career. When I first started playing, I was grinding the low limit to the mid stakes limit hold'em tables, whether it was 10, 20, 15, 30, that sort of limit. And this was around the same time that uh, no limit games were taking over the casino, which I didn't find as enjoyable. And I found there was way more um, venom in the games. Like you were there to absolutely stack your opponents. Like you weren't there to have a good time. It was all about the money. I mean, I would play poker for nothing. I would play and just sit and play. I definitely prefer the limit games because you can, you know, splash around in pots a little bit more uh, easily or without getting too hurt. My grinding station is all about comforts. You know, I have my Lazy Boy and my Mac set up on a, on a TV tray. It's very functional, it serves as my dinner table sometimes and my computer desk. I can move it to the left side or to the right side. I can recline my Lazy Boy, sometimes fall asleep at the computer. You know, it's not because I'm facing all these tough, de tough decisions, it's because I'm waiting for those poker stars alert to kind of waken me. It definitely is a grinding station that isn't about work, 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 work. It's about comfort and fun with some positive results at the end. Oh, I have quads. Are you filming this? <laughs> That's really a really good hand. Outside poker, uh, I try to stay pretty active. Independently, I like doing yoga. But in the wintertime, I participate on a basketball team and uh, we won our division this year, so that was really exciting. And in the summertime, then we play slow pitch, which is a bit of a alcohol-fueled slow pitch, but uh, we just have an absolute riot on our team. It's a little bit subpar at the moment, but uh, we need to have a few more beers and we'll be on. Uh, 911. Uh, we're started as an emergency department team, so there's people who used to be security guards, there's nurses, there's doctors. It's kind of expanded. We have some teachers, uh, cops, all sorts of people. Who... I've known Adrian since about grade seven, so what's that, 12, 13 years old? Apparently, she thought we were friends, but I didn't know that till about grade nine or ten. I had a better read. On the <laughs> Michelle used to be a dealer at the casino, and so she dealt blackjack and she started dealing poker. 
shortly thereafter and she's, she said, you need to get into these games, you need to start playing poker. I remember the first time I started playing I was nervous as hell because you hear players complain all the time about how other people's play and I was always self-conscious about, you know, playing the right way and not pissing people off. So when I told her that she should start playing because she'd be really good at it, she kind of had the same anxieties that I remembered having when I started. I was freaking out and shaking and uh, I wouldn't go at first and I actually sat behind her and watched her play a few sessions, which blows her mind because she thinks that poker is the most boring thing to watch. She's really smart, so I, <laughs> I knew that she, would, <laughs> that she would pick it up really quickly and do well as well. I watched her play and then finally took my hand at it and, you know, bought in for $60 at a 3-6 table and crossed my fingers and been playing ever since. When I first meet people, uh, I don't introduce myself as a poker player. If they're asking what I do for a living, it, it definitely is that I'm an occupational therapist. The definition that I use to describe occupational therapy is that we help people overcome whatever illness or disability they're facing so they can be independent in whatever matters most to them. What I want you to do is first trace the numbers and letters for me in this pattern from one, A, two, and follow that pattern and so on, but start at the one. Currently, I work five days a week. I put in uh, 37 and a half hours a week as an occupational therapist. I work in one of our acute care hospitals on the trauma unit and the general surgical unit. So because I'm working in acute care, generally I'm helping patients leave the hospital. What I want you to do is I'm gonna time you and I want you to work across the rows and flip all the pegs to red. You can use both hands, okay? And you can start whenever you're ready. I have been at the hospital for just over nine years and I've been in my specific job right now for the last five. I love my job. It gives me meaning and it's important to me in my life that I'm able to help people. And I think trauma in particular really meshes well with what I want to do is that, you know, I want to help people through some of the toughest and maybe most unexpected parts of their lives. The good news is I think this is the last time you'll have to see me. It sounds like you're doing a lot better. I wish you all the best and stay out of trouble, okay? In my mind, I'm a therapist first, a poker player second. It's a close second, but definitely second. I think more people should, you know, work work a real job and play poker. It definitely keeps the fun in the game and it definitely lets you make some extra money so that you can spend with it without worrying, you know, your your poker winnings don't have to be towards your mortgage or towards your bills. Your your poker winnings can be used for the frivolous things. Poker Stars has made my cat fat. <laughs> he gets to eat well. <laughs> Poker has, you know, let me buy a fancy car, let me, help me buy my house. It's, you know, let me buy designer purses or earrings or, you know, wh whatever I feel like on any given day. It, it's given me kind of the extras.